Hi guys, this is Guest. Hey guys, how's it going? So, it has been a long time since we spoke. I think I don't do a video for quite a while now. There's a lot of you that are messaging me in YouTube and sometimes I don't answer in a proper way. I know it's hard for me to... I don't understand if you understand. I'm deciding that I don't have... I don't want anything to do with social networks when it comes to that level of game of interaction where you need other person to follow you or you need to like the other people's pictures i'm i'm not into that that was not my purpose when i created it so it won't be now as well same in youtube it's the same thing i don't follow people who i don't i'm not interested in following so it's not my thing and i'm not really interested in this sort of game that they play but anyway guys <laughs> sorry this I've been away for quite a while now. A lot of people said, are you gonna make any other videos? We miss you. And that really, I really cherish that sort of feedback. Obviously, I think I have here a couple of people that really like to see me and really like to talk with me through this sort of environment, which I really enjoy as well. That's good. And thank you so much for keeping gap with messages, saying those things that help me to do this one as well. I don't know why I'm nervous. After a while, I don't know if this happens to you, but after a while you kind of feel bad because you you don't want to, you don't want people to think that this is a programmed video or something. But when you don't do it for a while, if people don't feed you strength and all those things, you kind of feel bad for like you're, gonna, you're letting other people down because you're not posting at the same time that they wish to see your answers. And I know a lot of you say, why don't you make more videos and stuff like that? And on those periods, sometimes I'm not really, I don't have the strength to do it. Or I don't have the courage. I don't know how you're going to put it, but it has something to do with that. But I'm happy that I'm here. I'm happy that I'm connecting again. I think it's better from time to time. I like this sort of follow up. It kind of puts a hard on on me and I, not a hard on. <laughs> Sorry. It's not a hard on. It puts me um, pressure and I don't like pressure. It's better for me to think like this, that I'm not forced to do anything. But I know that a lot of people here follow me from the, for the Simeon line and I really enjoy that because I think we already have here a spot where we can talk about it. Still, I miss a lot of people interact with me like Portuguese, more Portuguese people, especially with which is my native language. So that would be nice. Also, I would like to speak with more medical people, with people related to some studies or regarding these genetics or something like that. And somehow I don't come across that sort of people. Or if I do, they may think that I'm totally crazy and they just disconnect the video or they just don't acknowledge that I'm Portuguese still. But anyway, I want to speak more about Portugal and Lisbon, what's happening here with tourism, but it's not at the time because also I work in tourism so I have to be really gentle and careful because I don't want to crisscross any sort of road. I also want to thank every one of you that follow me, especially the nasty ones that still follow me because <laughs> I know that I have people that probably follow me not for the better reasons but anyway they say that when you have a stalker or someone that really likes you it's a good sign and I think our group is quite wide and you know what I mean guys so if you are on internet a lot so sometimes there's a couple of people or some people that don't really like you that much but yeah i'm here i'm not gonna go away and regarding the simian line well simian liners i come to a lot of conclusions as all as always what i have to say is that it's not an easy thing but i think that simian lines how can i put it well put it this way rupaul the other day said something on twitter listen I'm serious. RuPaul, yes, the amazing drag queen and show host and big fan here, RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul Charles, that's his name. But, and I'm looking for the Twitter app. Yes, because I don't have enough, so I'm looking for the app. So, oh my God, where is the bird? Bird. So on the Twitter app, RuPaul said something that made me so that made a lot of sense and this is not again this is not a simian line thing but to all simian liners i i think that it can help you as it helped me on that specific period it was yesterday i think where is rupaul rupaul let me just check it out by the way why don't you follow rupaul rupaul is a nice person to follow and this is his oops can you see see so he said, well, he said a lot of things. 
Oh my god, how can I find a post? This happened to me before. See, that's how expert I am on Twitter. Fuck. Okay, I will cut this part for sure. But I want to show you. This was two days ago. I'm not gonna find that shit. Maybe on Twitter and answers. No, I can't. Okay, after 11 months, I gave birth. So RuPaul said this one day ago. Well, I'm gonna put it here if you wanna read it. See? And there's a Trump image saying 2020. Obviously, there's a political agenda behind and statement as well, which I agree with him. But still, this uh, regarding the, the image, take the image away and just, just listen to the, the sentence he says. Avoid the dumb people. Do not try to educate them, to educate them, or try to prove how superior you are to them. Just smile and stay away from them. And that's what I say to you. So, see me lines again. Like I said, I could have told you this out of the blue, but I guess sometimes we feed off each other and that's what happens to me a lot. So I read this RuPaul statement and suddenly make a spark here and said to me, why are you insisting on changing other people's mind or perceptions? And that's part of our problem. We insist on changing those those people instead of creating other things that you know what I mean we cannot change what it is but we for sure can create new platforms new outlets and I guess that's what I'm trying to do here I was talking with a with a friend of mine and he was saying well he was saying no I was saying so what do you think that I really would like to do in life he goes I don't know I really don't and I said well that's my dilemma for a lot of years I like a lot of things but I don't know what to do specifically it's really hard for me to say that I really would like this or really would like that when I have so many options or when I have so many interests if you want so yeah guys I guess in a way this is sort of an update about my my time away from the screen from YouTube and all of this I I'm still working on the same area of tourism I work in a hotel I greet people I, I do all that sort of uh, reception work um, obviously this is you all know that it is not my first calling but it's something that I can do really easily and I really enjoy I have the pleasure of meeting other people, which it's quite nice. Uh, but obviously I want to do more and I still want to create other things. And again, take, take, uh, things take time, not time takes things. Well, it can happen as well. Things take time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that pretty soon we'll keep talking about more things. I'm still, uh, I am in depth with all of you regarding the PDF with a, with a study that someone did regarding our simian lines. To be honest with you, I need to sort that out too and where I'm going to put it and where it is because I need to just clear that out of my mind. Regarding YouTube, this is quite hard because I don't know guys i want you all to know that those who follow me from all these years thank you so much for being for still being here with me it has been a journey forever uh, it has been a journey forever i don't know what's happening to me am i dyslexic or something not it has not been a journey forever but it has been a journey for sure since i started youtube i'm pretty sure that you all remember the first times the first days the first years of watching people creating stuff here it was really funny i miss those days i hope you guys are well i hope this is a beginning of something i hope you guys comment here things questions because i'm a bit stale regarding what to do i'm really tired about just talking about the simian line to be honest with you i feel like i'm i'm an outsider or like if I'm talking about aliens or something like that, I feel like I'm very outsider. And the feedback is always very related to that and to aliens. And not that I don't like aliens, I love aliens, not to talk about aliens and stuff like that. I would like a bit more, a bit less focused thing, a little bit more wider. Maybe I'm, I'm not, I don't have a life that interesting or that I don't capture the most interesting things of my life, but that's how I want to live in social networks. I don't mind sharing things and talk with you guys. Uh, for example, I eat a lot. Oh, this is, uh, was my dog, sorry. I don't know, tell me if you're interested in that or mukbangs or something like that. I would like to do one for sure at some point, just to try it out. I hope you guys are well. I hope we can see each other very soon. And I miss you all. Big kisses, guys.